Latest on the Iceland volcano eruption, gigantic plume of toxic gas from the latest eruption is moving across Europe, according to what satellite data shows. A massive column of sulfur dioxide that was pumped out by the erupting volcano on Iceland's Reykjanes Peninsula is currently traveling across northern Europe. Scientists are concerned it could impact the ozone layer as well. Scientists are tracking a massive plume of toxic gas moving across northern Europe that was spat out by the ongoing volcanic eruption in Iceland. The gas cloud is unlikely to cause any serious health problems. However, it could impact the ozone hole above the Arctic, experts warn. On March 16, an underground volcano in Iceland's Reykjanes Peninsula blew its top for the fourth time in as many months, opening up the largest fissure of the current eruption cycle and unleashing a massive lava flow that narrowly missed the evacuated town of Grindavik. There were initially fears that the lava flow could reach the sea and unleash a plume of hydrochloric acid, which would have been life-threatening to anyone close to the coastline. Life science previously reported, however, the lava never reached the shore, but the eruption did release sulfur dioxide, a colorless toxic gas that can be extremely dangerous in high concentrations. It smells like rotten egg. Now, on March 17, the volcano was spitting out around 110 pounds of sulfur dioxide every second, according to the translated statement from the Icelandic Met Office. Workers at the nearby Svartsengi power plant were evacuated from the facility due to high levels of the gas. Icelandic news site RUV reported, and locals were temporarily warned to stay inside, according to Iceland's civil protection. Sulfur dioxide emissions have diminished significantly since March 18, but new data from the Copernicus Atmospheric Monitoring Service, CAMS for short, part of the European Union's Copernicus program, which tracks weather and climate changes using satellite data, shows that the initial outpouring of gas formed a three-mile tall concentrated column that has since blown towards other countries in northern Europe. Now, from me, from what I see from this satellite uh, toxic plume data, it's coming from south of Iceland, from the middle, middle of the Atlantic. What do you think? Anyway, the gas plume has already passed above the UK. It's currently approaching Scandinavia, where it will begin to dissipate before entering Russia. CAMS will continue to track the plume, although we do not expect there to be any impact on surface air quality or climate, senior CAMS scientist Mark Parrington said in a statement emailed to Life Science. However, tracking sulfur dioxide emissions is still important because the gas can react with atmosphere ozone molecules, depleting the amount of this protective substance in the ozone layer, which shields our Earth's surface from the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays. In October 2023, scientists partially attributed the near-record largest ozone hole above Antarctica to the 2022 eruption of an underwater volcano in Tonga, which released high levels of water vapor into the atmosphere that may have depleted ozone levels. Experts predict that the recent eruptions in Iceland could be the beginning of a new centuries-long period of activity in the region, as a result, the amount of sulfur dioxide being pumped towards the Arctic could also rise over the next few years, which could lead to larger northern ozone holes in the future. The impacts of the volcanic eruption in Iceland in the atmosphere have not yet been so severe, but it is relevant to keep monitoring the, the evolution of the situation, CAMS director Lawrence Rule said in a statement. This is by Harry Baker in Life Science. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.